For this video, I want to show you guys the basics of MIDI automation using Pro Tools and your Axe Effects 3. In this first part, we're just going to have a look at preset and scene changes. There is a second part, which is going to have a look at how to turn various effects blocks on and off, as well as how to use continuous controllers. What I'm going to do is show you the preset I'm using and then dive into some of the setups, as well as playing along with a backing track. So I hope you guys find this useful. If you've got any questions, please get them in the comments. You can skip over the preset if you like and get straight into the nitty gritty. I'll put some timestamps up. Enjoy. Before we get going, I'll show you guys the preset I'm going to be using and changing scenes on. It is a rectifier for the rhythm guitar sound and the USA 2C Plus for the lead sound. I've got separate amps so that I can switch between them seamlessly and I've got five main scenes. This is scene one, just a chunky rector rhythm. <laughs> And then on scene two, it switches over to the C++ with some delay for my lead sound. Scene three is essentially scene one, but with this lo-fi filter for the start of the song. Giving you that old school radio effect. Scene four is for the breakdown in the song. It's adding a multiband compressor and it's also switching the channel on the input to really tighten the gain up. This is so I can get really tight staccato palm mute. Well, they're not really palm mutes. They're those kind of thrack sounds that I'm playing there with heavily accented upstrokes. Then scene five is for the bridge of the song. It adds this rhythmic delay and I'm back to the recto amp again. You also notice that there's a modifier on the delay. It's only acting on channel A for my lead scenes, and I'm gonna cover this in another video where we play around with turning, say, in this case, the effect mix up and down, automating that, and also automating this phaser to come on and off, but that's not important for this video. The first thing we have to do is to set our Axe Effects up to receive MIDI commands. And the way I'm going to do this is going to work on the Axe Effects 2 and the AX8 as well. So go to Setup on your Axe Effects 3 and go to MIDI Remote. You want to set the MIDI channel to number one on here. And you're also going to set the MIDI Send channel in Pro Tools to number one so that they can talk to it one another. You also want Program Change to be on. Then scroll all the way across to Other and go down to this scene select value here. What we want to do is set this value to 34. So essentially what this means is in Pro Tools, anytime we want to change a scene, we're going to send a MIDI CC on number 34. So it's MIDI CC 34 says to the Axe FX3, hey, change a scene. Then in Pro Tools, there's a separate value which will say change it to the scene value corresponding to this. And that's pretty much all you have to do if you want to do scene changes in your Axe FX 3 from the front panel. The reason I've set it to number 34 is because the Axe FX 2 and the AX8 by default have the scene selection set to CC 34. So it's going to work across all those devices. If you don't want it on 34, you can use it somewhere else. But this is kind of the fractal standard is having scene selects on CC 34. Let's go over to Pro Tools now. The next step is to open up a Pro Tools session and to drag your backing track in. I've also gone through and I have labeled each section with a bunch of markers and I have set the tempo of the track. This is just going to make your workflow a little bit easier and it's best practice when you're doing this kind of stuff in my opinion. So next step we can start a brand new MIDI track. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'll just set it as a mono MIDI track. Beautiful. What we're going to work on first is this intro section. If I zoom in. You can see that there is a count in of four here and there's this intro where I want to have a lo-fi guitar sound and then that is going to kick into the big chunky guitar sound here for riff one and the verse. So the way we're, that we're going to do that is I first have to set up a program change to select my preset. What I'll do is I'll actually just change to a different preset on my Axe Effects 3 to demonstrate that it's going to select the correct preset. So I've moved over to just some random preset on my Axe Effects 3. The next step is to right click our MIDI track, scroll down here to open in MIDI event list. So what we can next do is grab this little triangle here in the top right and go down to insert. I'm going to insert a program change. I want my program change to be at bar one. So while the click is happening, I'll hit enter on that. No, actually I won't hit enter on that. I want to select program number four, which is my preset. 
there we go. You can see now that it's this little logo here saying program change number four. It's also talking to channel one on my Axe FX3. If it's not working, a really good piece of advice is go to your MIDI track and make sure it is going to the correct output. So if I go back to the start of my track and I play it, it should now move to preset number four. Magic, that's awesome. Okay, but preset number four on my Axe FX3 defaults to the chorus sound. So this is the next step. I want this lo-fi guitar sound for the first part of the riff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the change using a CC. So this is gonna select the scene that I want. You can see here that I want scene three and there's an offset in Pro Tools that I'll look at really quickly and I'll also get it to change on the beat before so that I've got that sound ready to go. So let's right click again, we'll go to our MIDI event list and this time instead of assigning a program change, what we're gonna do is we'll go down here and we'll go to controller. Now remember we set up number 34 on our Axe FX3 to be the controller channel. So this is my bar here, the fourth beat of bar one, that's great. I'm gonna set this to 34, excellent. And then here, under this little event thing, I can set my scene. So zero, the value is gonna give me scene one, a value of one is gonna give me scene two, and a value of two is gonna give me scene three. So I'll set this guy to two. Now let's play the start of the track, and you should see it select preset number four, then there's gonna be four clicks and then it's gonna select scene number, what is it, number three, the lo-fi scene. I'll go to a different preset again. That's absolutely magic, how awesome is that? I'll play the little guitar part along for you guys. So what I wanna do is right here, there's a big drum hit where the rest of the band really kicks in heavy. It is the fifth bar and it's the fourth beat. So let's go and create another controller. This is now gonna be for bar five, beat four. And I want it to be again on number 34 because remember that's where our Axe FX3 is reading scene CCs, and I'll set this to zero so that it selects scene number one. So again, 34 is telling it, hey, I wanna change a scene, and then this column here tells the Axe FX3 which scene to select. In this case, a value of zero is gonna select scene one. So let's see if all this magic automation works. And we can do this for any other section we like. What I'm gonna do is go ahead to the breakdown section of this song over here because I basically use that one guitar sound throughout most of the song. This section here is the second chorus. Then there's a little drum fill here and we go into the breakdown section. So the breakdown section you can see is scene four. Let's go through and set this up. So we'll go open in MIDI event list. And again, I want this scene to change like one beat early. So where's that? So it's gonna be bar 72, beat four. Again, we are doing a controller. You've probably got the idea by now, uh, in which case you can move on to the next section. If you're still a little bit confused, hopefully this next little bit that I do will clear it up. So this is gonna be on 34. And then I wanna select scene four, which is a value of three. Excellent, so that should take care of that. Then the bridge section, we'll assign another one. This is bar 81, same process. And then you can see the solos at bar 89. So I'll go ahead and create those. 81, 34 for my CC and my CC value this time. So it's scene five for the bridge that corresponds to a CC value of four. And I'll create one more scene change in here using a controller. It's gonna be bar 89. Actually, we'll make it bar 88, just because there's a little fill that I do leading into the solo. Again, MIDI CC 34, and this time it's lead, so that's scene two, which is a CC value of one. There we go, let's play through this section now. And again, let's just watch the Axe FX3 front panel, because it should go from scene one through to my breakdown scene, through to my bridge scene, through to my lead guitar scene, if I can remember how to play these parts, that is. Mm -hmm. 